Boom, ba doom, ba doom, dee dee, boom. Oh, Lulu, little Lulu, little Lulu, with freckles on your skin, always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using Dad's name tag for the tail of your kite, using Mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little Lulu, little Lulu, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Though you're wild, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to tame. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. My chores is doing the family's laundry at our house, but I've fallen way behind. I mean, way behind. My dad had to go to work today in his old Boy Scout uniform. I went fishing with dad last week. I learned a lot. For example, we use little fish as bait. I didn't know you could do that. When I saw him putting the fish on the hook, I said, what are we trying to catch, worms? That's when he told me about the ancient fisherman's code of not bugging your father. On the way home, we bought some lottery tickets. I don't know why. When it comes to lottery tickets, my dad is the least lucky person on the planet. He never wins. One time, he scratched one off, and it said, you owe us 20 bucks. Hey, Tubby, you gotta take a look at this storm. Yeah, yeah, I see it. And right in the middle of my favorite show, too. <gasps> wow, a blackout! Gee, the whole street is out. I better be going home, Lulu. Yeah, me too. Maybe we still got power at my place. Nobody's going anywhere in this storm. You can all stay here tonight. Wow! Yay! A blackout and a sleepover! Here you go. You'll each need one of these. Now I'll just go and make a nice plate of sandwiches for supper. Cool! cool. Great. No lights, no TV, and cold grub. This is like caveman days. Ah, who needs TV? Come on, Annie. Let's go up to the attic and get some board games. There's a reason they're called board games, you know, because you only play them when you're bored. Hey, wait up. Now, let's see. What game should we play? Hey, Lulu. Ah. Let's play dress-up. I have an even better idea. We'll have a seance. Lou, are you up there? Lulu? Annie? Ah! What, what are you doing? Shh. Lulu's communicating with the spirit from beyond the grave. Really? Why, uh, you're putting me on. Oh, happy, happy. I think the spirit is trying to communicate with you, Tub. What is it, great spirit? What message do you have for Tubby? Beware. Beware? Well, I don't like the sound of that. Beware. That's it. This isn't funny anymore. Well, I'm getting out of here. Tubby? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I think maybe I'll go help your mom with those sandwiches. Uh oh, looks like the power's off. Great. <sighs> fine. It's just someone at the door. Why don't you go see who it is? Oh, huh. okay. 
Oh, come on, I'm freezing out here. Guess I'll try the back door. Who is it? Hello? Wow. Looks like the whole neighborhood is out. Is anyone there? Ah! Hey, Tubby, what's going on? The evil spirit! It's come to get me! It's out there! No way! Ha ha, very funny. I swear I saw him. He was horrible. White as a ghost with eyes black as coal and orange fire spewing from his mouth. <laughs> there he is! He's heading for the back door! Come on, we'll catch him! Ready? Whoa, what on earth? Oh. Ha ha! Gotcha! Hey, get off me! Help! Uh-oh. That voice sounds kind of familiar. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Gee, Dad, we're real sorry we attacked you. Yeah, and I'm sorry I mistook you for an evil spirit from beyond the grave. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Light! Glorious light! Tonight on Mystery Theater, the zombies who came in from the cold. And TV! Oh, how I missed you! Aw, but it was so much fun in the dark. Hey, what gives? Let's have a pretend blackout. That's a good idea, Lulu. Hey. Well, it is kind of cozy by candlelight. What do you say, Dad? It's okay with me, but no more sneak attacks on your old man, all right? You know, it took Edison a long time to invent light bulbs. The least we could do is use them. Don't worry, Tubby. This time we won't have a seance. We won't? Of course not. We'll tell ghost stories ah! instead. <laughs> Apparently, Tubby's been sleepwalking lately. But actually, we're all pretty happy for him. He's getting into shape. If he starts sleep weightlifting, he's gonna get into terrific shape. I can think of worse sleeping problems. My friend Gloria snores like crazy. I had a sleepover party last week and she kept us awake half the night. Annie said we should roll her onto her side. I said we should roll her out the window. We ended up just using earplugs, two of them, stuffed right up her nose. I hate it when you wake up in the morning with gunky stuff in your eyes. My mom told me that means Mr. Sandman visited me in the night. I also have bad breath, Mom. Does that mean Mr. Onion Man dropped by too? Doobie doobie doo. <gasps> My new Billy the Lonesome Cowboy tape is finally here! Hello, and welcome to Perfect Etiquette Perfectly, your guide to the very best in manners. Hey, what's going on? Do you know which fork to use when eating a salad? Do you know how to greet a member of the royal family? The only thing I know, lady, is that you're going back to the post office. Tubby? What is that? Um, hi. <laughs> oh, this? Uh, I got sent a stupid tape about perfect manners by mistake, so I'm sending it back. <laughs> manners, who needs them? Well, I think manners are very important. I wouldn't dream of dating a boy who didn't have good manners. Really? That's interesting. 
I think I hear my mother calling me. Gotta go. <laughs> Once I learn all these etiquette tips, Gloria will be putty in my hands. Now, I just need someone to practice on. Hello, Mrs. Tompkins. Is Tubby home? He's in his room, boys. Why, good evening, madam. You're looking lovely tonight. Wherever did you get that smashing tiara? More tea? When a lady wishes to leave the table, a gentleman should always pull out her chair for her. Allow me, my dear. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? What are we doing? What are you doing? I'm learning good manners. Oh, yeah? Is it good manners to decapitate your girlfriend? Ha oh, ha, very funny. But we'll see who's laughing when I get a date with Gloria. I happen to know that she's a sucker for this kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so the mannequin didn't work out too good. I need to find a real girl to practice on. Aha! Wait, stop, uh, please. What are you doing, Tubby? A gentleman never allows a lady to walk through a puddle. Okay, but what does that have to do with you? I'm turning over a new leaf. Hmm. Allow me, ladies. Let me guess. A gentleman always opens the door for a lady. Correct. Ha! This etiquette stuff is a breeze. <laughs> Hey, Tubby, get your own food. No, Lulu, I just wanted to help you carry the bag. When has Tubby Tompkins ever wanted to carry something unless it was a sandwich? Oh, Lulu, I just want to help out my friend. Why, Tubby, how kind of you to carry the groceries for Lulu. Why don't you come over for dinner tonight? We're having pot roast. Why, it would be a delight to sample your culinary creations. You could learn a lot from that, Tubby. He's so well-mannered. Allow me. <laughs> oh, Tubby, how thoughtful. It's the least I can do. For such an elegant hostess. <laughs> Would you care for some of these lovely peas, Mr. Moppet? Lulu, it's for you. Remember, Lulu, it's not polite to speak on the phone during supper. I'm sure Tubby knows that. Doesn't everyone? Hello? Hi, Lulu. I found out why Tubby is acting so goofy. Really? Why? He's been learning manners from a tape so he can get a date with Gloria. He must be practicing on you. Oh, really? Well, his next lesson's going to be something special. May I be excused for a few minutes? Please. Yes, you may. I'm glad to see that Tubby's manners are rubbing off on you. Lesson five, an evening of romance. It's always nice to start off by presenting the lady with a bouquet of flowers. But if you really want to impress her, give her your most prized possession. <laughs> that will make her yours. <laughs> Hello, fairest Gloria. Flowers for a flower. <laughs> and a present. For me? What is it? It's my most prized possession. Ah! Get it off! Get it off! <gasps> Tubby Tompkins, how could you? I'll never speak to you again! But I don't understand. The tape said you'd be impressed. Oh, sheesh. Come on, Freddy, let's get out of here. Some people have no manners. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I went to a fortune teller. She told me I was going to fail an exam, lose my wallet, and get a very bad cold. Well, 
like a misfortune teller. Also, she was kind of flaky. Another psychic just moved in next door to her and is taking all her business. It's hard to be sympathetic. I mean, you'd think she would have seen it coming. She said she's thinking of going into another line of work. I told her she should be a weather person. That way she can still predict the future, but nobody expects her to be right. <laughs> was talking about. She said some animals got loose today. From the circus? I don't know. Guess so. I hate waiting for the dentist. Maybe he's got some new magazines for once. Titanic sinks in North Atlantic. I'm telling you, Tubby. There's animals loose all over the place. The circus train must have crashed. Oh, come on, Elvin. That's crazy. No, it's true. Lulu was there, and she saw the whole thing. Really? Excuse me, boys. I'm Chet Wilson, and I'm a reporter with Channel 12 Action News. Maybe you recognize me? Nope. Sorry. My mom won't let me watch the news. She's afraid it'll desensitize me to violence and suffering. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, anyway, I couldn't help but overhear that amazing story you were just discussing. Maybe you could give me some details? <laughs> now, don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> of course, I can understand you. Now, what's new at school? <laughs> really? You're kidding. Right in the middle of gym class. Oh, wow. Mom, you won't believe what happened. The circus train crashed, and Lulu had to go in and save all the animals before the whole thing blew up. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor. Are the rumors true? What rumors? That a circus train crashed outside of town and that a little girl single-handedly rescued the animals before the entire train was consumed in a giant ball of flame. Uh, I have no knowledge of any such incident. Wait a minute. Are you saying that there may well be lions, tigers, and other such dangerous animals roaming loose in the town and you have no knowledge of the incident? Oh, well, uh, of course, I'm fully aware of this situation. I, it's just that I uh, can't comment until I have all of the uh, details. There we go. All done. Gee, I didn't feel a thing. Uh, what's that? I said, I didn't feel a thing. You didn't steal the spring? Uh, never mind. We interrupt this program with the latest developments on the circus train derailment. 
We have unconfirmed reports that a local girl identified as one Lulu Moppet may have rescued dozens of circus animals from the burning wreckage of the train. Hmm, sure is quiet. I wonder where everybody is. There must be something going on. I knew something was going on! <gasps> Lulu! Oh, my baby, you're safe! Mother! Not in front of everybody! Miss Moppet, can you tell us in your own words how you managed to survive this terrible ordeal? So bad. <laughs> wow, what courage. Can you tell us more? Sure, I mean, I guess it hurt a little bit. <gasps> but I said to myself, Lulu, this isn't the first time you've lost a baby tooth, and it won't be the last. Baby tooth? Yeah. We are talking about my trip to the dentist, right? Right? Sorry about all this, Mom. That's all right, Lulu. I'm just glad you're safe. Although I wish those reporters had picked up after themselves. It's too bad, Lulu. You were almost famous there for a second. Easy come, easy go, I guess. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. The next time I go to the dentist, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Usually, Tubby's birthday parties are kind of boring. This year, he had a hypnotist. And I have to say, it was the best birthday party ever. I got Tubby a really cool birthday gift at the magic shop. A vial of water from the Bermuda Triangle. He loved it, although since then, all his model airplanes have disappeared. I had to give him something good. His parents give the worst presents. Last year for his birthday, they got him a dentist appointment. Ha <laughs> ha 